Renekton, when I challenge an enemy, give me plus two, plus one this round. Level up, I've dealt 12 damage. Similar to Shivana's level of effect. Nothing new here. Four mana, four, four, overwhelm. Decently standard minion. It ascended. New kind of uh, type of a unit. Couple of other new cards in the hand. Soft, weak coward. Quick sand. Give an enemy minus four, minus zero, and disable its combat keywords this round. How often times is disabling the keywords going to be relevant? Relevant against barrier. Oh, no, it's like an it's like another hush, right? It's like an anti-elusive. Whoa, four minute five five attack. Give me plus three plus three this round, overwhelm, and then it'll level up again. Whoa, dude. You can level up again if you have the restored sun disc. Wow. What the heck? Nothing will stop me. The sun disc's light leads Esteemed Hierophant. When I'm summoned, advance your buried sun disc two rounds. I think we already saw that one, didn't we? Oh my god. Whoa. Renekton, uh, level 3. 4 mana 10 10 with overwhelm. When I block or attack, deal 2 damage to enemies and the enemy nexus. Holy fuck, man. I mean, it's not like super, super crazy, but uh, it's just like, it's a, like going from level 2 to level 3 actually is relevant. So there you go. There's somewhat of a consideration for playing like this sun disc. Just turns them everything into like a late game bomb. Yeah, cro the crocodile seems like it's gonna eat some stuff. Let's go jump over to the page and see if we can find some cards. Okay, so let's break down all of the revealed cards here. So we're going for a new approach. Everything's coming up on Mobilitic, so that's pretty cool. And there's quite a fair bit of cards here. I think there'll be 10 if you count like every different form of something. Uh, so Renekin in itself, I will say that the 4 mana 4-4 four, four is reasonably studded. Uh, pretty close to Shivana, and then when I challenge an enemy, give me plus 2 plus 1 this round. Not too relevant, unless you're playing a deck that has lots of challenger synergy. So Renekton level 1 is uh, pretty yeah, average, but he gets, I guess, I guess he's alright when he flips. And then to flip him, it's just like Shivana, right? Uh, level 2 Renekton will be attacking to give me plus 3 plus 3 this round with Overwhelm. Pretty reasonable. And then for level 4, it's kind of like a crazy... It's crazy to have 4 mana 10 10 if you have a Sun Disc. It really depends how fast you can get that Sun Disc to flip. Depending on whether or not this is actually going to see uh, play. Because ideally, you need this as a level 3. For it to really be a considerable choice. I think like Renekton is a very vanilla unit, so I don't believe Renekton will see significant play, but it will be like a considerable option for adding into decks if you know the whole ascended going towards level three with plenty of uh, cards is relevant. Like if you have the if if the ascended deck with the sun disc kind of works out and it doesn't get too uh, contested by like landmark removal or hard removal then uh Renekton's pretty cool it will really come down to whether or not the other ascended units are strictly better though because uh 
Renekton seems like the most vanilla version, but I will say if your sun disc can come down at a pretty reasonable pace, like you'll never play Renekton at this ascended form on curve, which is kind of like what makes it look really crazy. Like when you see a four minute 10, 10 coming down, like around about turn five or turn six, that makes this like super nuts. So if it's like some sort of other bonus card that allows you to ascend a unit to level three pretty early, then oh, I guess even Renekton's pretty crazy. So Renekton's champ signature spell will actually uh, give an ally a plus two. Sorry, give an ally a plus two and an enemy vulnerable this round. Uh, pretty vanilla. It's another really good combat trick though. I'm, I'd probably say this will see significant play if Shreema has a very uh, lacking amount of uh, combat tricks. This is actually pretty reasonable. You could either call this like, it's not exactly calling a challenger, but uh, being able to grant an enemy vulnerable, it's like two cards in one. It's a combat trick for plus two, like a pale cascade, but then you also have like the vulnerable so you can use other units to get some really good trades on turns. A perfect card for any like mid-range deck, so this might see some play. Uh, the Bloodthirsty Marauder, this card is discovered or uh, from another card, so not much to say about this one. One mana three one though. Uh, the Bakai Sand Spinner. This is a. This is a. What is it? A. Four mana five three grants an enemy minus one minus zero and vulnerable. Ah, uh, yeah, pretty average. Not gonna lie. Uh, raise Blood Mane. Seven mana six six attack. Give enemies minus two this round. It's like another big. <laughs> it reminds me of the uh, Terror of the Deep. That card was okay, but this is like one mana cheaper and it doesn't, it's not relevant to the rest of your units either. Uh, kind of slow, uh, very, very slow. Uh, ex exhaust, give an enemy minus two and vulnerable this round. A one mana focus spell. What? Focus? Can you guys see that? Interesting. I have no idea what that means. Focus. Huh. Is that maybe a new keyword for gems? Could be. Uh, quickstand. Yeah, that's kind of just like hush, right? It's like hush slash single combat slash interact with your opponent's unit. Yeah, it's reasonable. Uh, it's kind of like weird looking at like all the wording there, but it's essentially just like a hush, right? It also says excluding any negative keywords. So if there's like last breath, you'll, you will hush that too. Yeah, this is quicksand. It's just hush in disguise. A right of dominance, fast speed spell fast. Kill an ally or destroy one of your mana gems to give all enemies minus two this round. Whoa. Okay, it's the first card we've seen that can interact with uh, mana gems. That is cool. That is flexible. I don't have a lot to say about that. It is, however, very, very cheap removal. Sorry, it's not even removal. It's kill an ally or destroy one of your mana gems to give all enemies minus to this round. That's so weird. I don't think that's a really good card. Um, the destroying of mana gem is not good enough for a card like this. And then killing an ally to give them all minus to this round. I guess it's like okay sustain like healing in this sense against aggro, but yeah, now nah, hopefully there's better options than this. I'm sure there will be. Unworthy, two mana slow speed spell. Give an enemy follower minus four this round. If you have fewer mana gems than your opponent, kill it instead. What the heck? Whoa, okay. That is like some of the most weirdest tech guard I've seen. Like, like, 
<laughs> You're obviously not going to go out of your way to make a deck that's focused around mana destruction and mana control to play unworthy specifically, but it is, if there's a greater amount of cards, this might see some play. So this unworthy is pretty much two mana stun an enemy this round. Because it's slow speed, you're only really interacting with them if they play like to develop or if um if it's like you're attacking and you think it might be worth to do that. And then if you have fewer mana gems, you can kill it instead. That's crazy. We have his skill here as well. This is Renekton's skill card. Alright. So that's about it. Renekton itself looks okay. We're going to need to see some more synergy cards to see kind of how much this pushes Renekton into playability. Uh, I think what's most important is really seeing the entire set to see um, is there a, a way to make a level 3 ascended unit that's not the sun disc and b uh, kind of like what do the other ascended units look like. Anyway, you guys have a fantastic day. These are all the new cards you've seen. I hope you can enjoy some of the insight I've offered you here today. Uh, leave a like if you have time and I will see you soon. Peace.